Aaron Glenn finally addresses the media and the defensive backs believe it is their fault that their coach got fired. Hello everyone, my name is Derek and welcome to Detroit Lions Syndicate. If you are new to this channel, we talk all things about the Detroit Lions and if you don't like my 30 second intro, then you don't have to watch or subscribe. That's okay. The reason that I do it is because every day new people find the channel and I let them know exactly what we do on this channel. We make videos almost every day about your Detroit Lions. So this intro went a little further, but sometimes you got to let people know they have no idea how YouTube works and you got to let them know. Defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn has been under a lot of scrutiny lately due to the historically bad defense of the Detroit Lions. And a lot of people, including myself, were calling for potentially him being fired. Over the past two weeks, you can say our defense has gotten better. For the first time since the firing of coach Aubrey Pleasant, he gets in front of the media. And here's just a few things that he had to say regarding that situation. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's been a tough week. Uh, for me personally, uh, for the defensive staff, for this organization, um, for this team in general, uh, not only because of the way that we played, um, but also when we lost a damn good coach. Um, I really coach a good friend of mine who I, uh, who I brought on um, to do a job. Um, and that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Uh, but you move on this league and you continue to uh, to strive for greatness. You continue to strive for, for winning, and that's what we'll do. Um, and another thing that happened just to me personally is to hear about uh, Coach Zimmer, who Coach uh, Zim was my coach in Dallas here, but what happened to his son, um, that was another downer uh, in my opinion. So um, I know you guys have a lot of questions. Um, some of these questions I will go ahead and answer right now, just what I'm speaking on. But um, Dan made a decision, and I'm going to support that decision. I mean, that's my job. Uh, he's the boss. Um, and whatever decision that he make, it's our responsibility to support and continue to move on, right? And that's what we'll do uh, as a staff. That's what I'll do as a coordinator. Um, and nothing surprises me in this league, nothing. I've been in this league for a long time. I've seen good players get cut. I've seen good players get traded. Hell, I was in an expansion draft and I just made a Pro Bowl with the Jets. They took me to the Texans. So nothing surprised me. I've seen coaches get hired. I've seen coaches get fired. Hell, I was a part of uh, having a coach for a day, Bill Belichick, who sent me a text and said that he was leaving. Well, he didn't say he was leaving, but he said it's going to be a crazy day tomorrow. So just know that I love you and um, – this won't be the last time that we end up, you know, talking or whatnot. So, um, man, nothing surprises me. So I will cut those answers, those questions off let you, right now that it's part of this business and you continue to move on. It has to be tough for Aaron Glenn. A lot of people think he's the one that should have been fired, but yet someone got fired who he brought in. And you heard him say that it's part of the business. Now, I don't know if he was saying, hey, I got to keep my job and my friend didn't get to keep his. But you can tell he was visibly shaken up by this having to address this situation. So let me know in the comments below. Do you think that it was Aaron Glenn who should have been fired instead of Aubrey Pleasant? Now, later on in the press conference, he was asked about the trading of TJ Hawkinson. And how does that equate to the urgency of this year? Are we prepping for next year? What's going on with that? And are the Detroit Lions basically still trying to win? And I think his answer was very interesting. Check it out. I think every decision that's made is made to win, period. Some guys might not understand that, but it's made to win. If it's in the future, but everything's meant to made to win right now. I know that's how I look at it. And I know these men that's here look at it like that too. We don't have time to sit back and build something and let somebody else get ready to use it. You don't have time to sit back and build something and let somebody else get ready to use it. You don't have time to sit back and build something and let somebody else get ready to use it to get fired. You know what I'm saying? So every time we go out to practice, every decision that we make is made to win the game, period. I think this was very telling of Aaron Glenn and also the urgency of this organization, this coaching staff, because you heard it from him himself. He said, we're not trying to build something. 
for somebody else to take over because we get fired. And I think that is, like I said, you guys can go watch it. He's visibly kind of distraught. You can tell that he lost a good friend on the coaching staff and that it is definitely a sense of urgency when it comes to the Detroit Lions winning this year. Brad Holmes said yesterday that the TJ Hawkinson trade was also good for the future, but also the present. And check out some things that TJ Hawkinson had to say with the Minnesota Vikings media. I think you might think differently of your former tight end. Now, bringing that on to Deshaun Elliott. Deshaun Elliott feels that they are the reason, the cornerbacks, the defensive back room is the reason that Aubrey Pleasant was fired. Here's what he had to say. Me, personally, I feel like it was our fault he got fired. Lions safety Deshaun Elliott told the Free Press, obviously, we're 1-6. We haven't been the best defense. We haven't been the best secondary this year, and it sucks to see him go. But maybe that will start the fire on some guys like, whoa, it's time to get going, bro. Because being where we are right now is not cool. I don't appreciate that. Hopefully guys in the locker room don't appreciate that. It really upsets me that we're 1-6 and six and considered one of the worst secondaries in the league. AP's a fantastic coach, Elliot said. He will have a job in this league. Obviously, it's just I guess somebody had to go down. It's a business. Part of the business. So it sucks, but God bless him and his family. Hopefully, he'll find another job soon. We've been saying it since he got fired, and apparently Deshaun Elliott feels very similar, that somebody had to go, and Aubrey Pleasant was that guy. If you look at Dan Campbell's press conference, he spoke about it being a different messenger delivering this information to these guys. So a shakeup was needed, and Aubrey Pleasant paid the price. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. This video went a little longer than what you guys are used to. It was a lot of information. I had to try to cram in and I still try to keep it as short as possible. And again, about my 30 second intro every day, analytics tell me that new people find this channel. People who've never seen or heard of this channel before, every single day, new people find it. So therefore, I want to let them know what they can get when they come to this channel. It's a YouTube thing, so just bear with it. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself, and as always, go Lions.